Hi Kyle! Yeah, I did see Spider-Man, and here's the thing. Did you see that villain? I don't know if you caught it. The villain in the new Spider-Man movie is sequel fatigue. I saw Spider-Man and it was great. I, I enjoyed it, it did a lot of things. It kind of felt like a period piece. Maybe we take a movie and we set it like in the 90s but with modern day stuff. I was like, I just saw something like this. I just saw Baby Driver. And Baby Driver is an Edgar Wright movie. He did Shaun of the Dead, Hot Fuzz, World Zan, Scott Pilgrim, and a little bit of Ant-Man. Edgar Wright's back with his own original property of a movie he's been trying to make for over 20 years now. And he made it with people like Kevin Spacey and John Hamm and other people who aren't John Hamm and Kevin Spacey. This movie is incredibly brilliant. Every scene means something. There's a thousand things going on in the background to make sure that you get so much out of every scene. I've not seen that much attention to detail since Scott Pilgrim, World's End. This is typically what Edgar Wright does. It's not new for him. He's always known for putting every little, like little reference, little detail into a scene in a way that you wouldn't get from other people. And I think that is amazing. And the details go down to the music. The music in this movie is, a, is so on point. It makes so much sense for every scene that you're watching. Down to whether it's just him walking to get coffee, which was amazing if you know what scene I'm talking about. Or him driving a car to the beat of a song. And the great part about this movie is you kind of see him go from generation to generation of iPods and then kind of work his way up to like, I feel like if there was a sequel to this movie, he would have to have like a first generation iPhone because it just goes that way. And at one point, there's a kid in this movie who shows up and he's basically the same thing as the main character, but way younger. And he's using like a PlayStation Portable to listen to music. What a, what a vintage thing that a kid would probably have today, but kind of shows the difference between someone who's like a few years older who's just using like his old classic iPod. So while Spider-Man was great, it was really overpowered by the fact that I had just seen this masterpiece by Edgar Wright. And I'm sure I'm gonna say that about every movie Edgar Wright makes. So hopefully he keeps up the good work. I don't know. I love you, Edgar Wright. Bye, Edgar Wright.